All right, good, good afternoon, everybody. My name is Alex. I go to James Madison Memorial. I live in Madison, but was born in Guatemala. Uh, my name is Nasser. I live in Milwaukee, and I go to Nathan Hill High School. Uh, I was born here, but everyone in my family was born in Palestine. They all moved here, so I live here now. And uh, this is our uh, kind of, we work for a business called Off the Block Pizza. It's uh, under uh, Mentoring Positives, which is based out of the Darwell Worthington neighborhood area. And we are from the People Program, which has gave us the opportunity to have an internship with Off the Block Pizza. People Program is a pre-enrichment pre opportunity for minorities to go to college. And it has granted us this job. And these are our values and how we're going to help people. And uh, one of our very important values is our story. As um, growing up as a kid, I, um, my parents always stressed to me the importance of small and local uh, businesses and how when you put money into a small and local business, it goes back into the community and doesn't go other places. Back where I grew up, I have a lot of friends who dropped out of school. So hopefully this can give them a second chance since it's local in the community and it is for youth. So that way they have a better chance to get back on their feet and work and become a better person. Um, and another important value is clean and nutritious. Uh, clean label is basically a nutrition panel where you can look at the ingredients and you can list them all off. It's not hard to read. You can find them at your local grocery store. A lot of pizzas and a lot of, most of the food items today don't have that. So that's what we focused on to make it healthy and nutritious. We also pile on many toppings such as spinach, peppers, and onions with mushrooms, which they're very high in fiber and many other great vitamins and beta carotene and also low in fat. And these are the ingredients for a cheese pizza if you would like to take a moment to read them. And they're in order of uh, grams of how much we put in per pizza. As you can tell, they're um, all things that you can get from your local grocery store. And they're all easy to read. And these are some comparisons with our competitors. We are number one. Out of our 13 competitors that we've looked at, we are the number one in the lowest percent of calories from fat and the number one in highest of fiber per serving. We're the number one lowest in percent of sugars per serving. We're average in the salt percentage, but we're lower in the protein percentage. We have to work on that and fix that when we add meat, which should be soon, hopefully. And of course, another um, important value is that our pizza must taste sensational because no one wants to eat a gross pizza. Um, <laughs> it's, uh, we've taken many different combinations of ingredients and we um, picked the best and we'll be serving them to you later today. They're locally made, which uh, we get a lot of ingredients from uh, Wisconsin, which helps stay in the community and it gives people a chance to work together and get better with their community. Another important part is our key partners and who has helped us develop this product. Uh, UW Madison's People Program is a very important partner as they have um, supplied interns to um, Off the Block Pizza for the past couple of years. Uh, Feed Kitchen is where we work at the moment. It's a commercial kitchen for small businesses. We hope to move out of it and gain better resources when we get bigger. Uh, UW Extension, obviously where we work out of now. and. Um, And UW Law and Entrepreneurship uh, with Jeff Glazer, uh, hello, uh, Cl um, who um, helped us move along our business and um, give us some great feedback. College of Agriculture and Life Sciences, they helped us with our nutrition label. We spoke to a food scientist, or a food nutritionist, sorry, named uh, Susan Larson. She told us about our ingredients and the requirements and how we rank up. Uh, Madison College, uh, they have helped. Uh, they helped us with our pizza sauce last year. And Growing Power, uh, they uh, produce tomatoes out of Milwaukee. Uh, Will Allen is the Will Allen is the man who runs it, and um, he. Uh, we aren't partners with them yet, but we hope to be with in the future. One of our key activities is licensing, as we need those to move on with the company and start doing what we do. Now, I know Richard has applied for many of them, and one of the important ones is the public health of Madison and Dane County. He also applied for many others to help us move on. Uh, promotional events. Uh, today is the July 18th event. Um, it's a presentation, and um, we will give you some, we will let you taste test the pizza later today. Also on August 24th, um, at, the pizza, at the Peace Walk, um, we'll be selling our pizza out of a pop up tent. And then on October 2017 and December 2017, we were two fundraisers that um, Mentoring <coughs> Positives will help us set up. 
key resources, what we have and what we need more of. Right now we have a little bit of money, but we are looking for more and looking for more people to help us out and expand our business. Employees, we have interns and employees that help us get further on. Uh, office space, which helps, uh, gives us an uh, area to pitch our ideas and grow our business. And last but not least, we have feed kitchens, which is where we work out of. So when we make the pizzas. Customer segments who we're trying to um, get this pizza out to. Uh, this is uh, Will Green, and this is his family. Uh, we're trying to really emphasize this to parents because the, our pizza represents um, a great alternative to some of the more fatty pizzas out there. Health conscious people. A lot of people like to eat pizza, but they can't because it's too much grease and oil in it. So with our healthy alternative, they can enjoy pizza and also benefit from it. Uh, Locavores, uh, people who like to eat more locally will really enjoy our product. And lastly, young adults. Young adults are always busy, you know, they're in college, they have work to do, they're on the move, so this way they can just pop a pizza in the oven and have it ready, well, it's healthy, nutritious, and quick. Customer relationships. Um, how we really want to uh, emphasize customer relationships is face-to-face -face interactions because we are small and local and we think it's very important to build a connection with who we're trying to get this product out to. Our business plan, we're sharing it right now to customers and investors to hopefully get them interested. Uh, social media, uh, which plays a big role in our uh, society today and hopefully um, really advertise us. Commercials, we plan using YouTube and the radio to get the word out and get us known. Um, Pop-up tent events, uh, how we're going to get our pizza out there uh, using channels. Um, our pop-up tent event, like I said, takes place on August 24th in the Peace Walk in the Darbo Worthington neighborhood area. Madison Public Market, which opened in 2019, we plan, we hope that they make us a key partner with them so that that way we can get the community eating healthy again. And catering events, hopefully, for far in the future, uh, maybe to uh, parties and uh, maybe even to um, campuses like UW. Uh, what are the costs? Obviously, labor and management is a very important cost. This is our manager, Donnell Richards, and that is another. Uh, he's not uh, an employee, but he's a partner. His name is Tony the Mango Man. He helps. He helps. With the sauce. Yes. Facility rental. Uh, we're working at Feed Kitchens at the moment. And ingredients, which are very important when making our pizza. And promotions, so we can get the word out, people get to know us more, and get the community eating healthy again. And other things that uh, cost money are such as permits and licenses. Revenue streams and how we're going to make our money. Uh, pizza sales uh, will be hopefully our main source of income or of, of revenue. Donations, we, can, we like to receive money, volunteers, and ingredients. No matter how big you get, you can always work, out, work with donations. And grants from uh, places like the City of Madison and a couple others that are up there. And that's it. Any questions? Great. That's awesome.